back working on uh, testing the documentation card reader with the uh, logic analyzer and I uh, forget what I told you at a previous video stroke B is not missing that's not the problem but I think I found what the problem is so in that trace I got a good trace and here is stroke B and it's there all the time and the reason I didn't see it before is because I didn't have enough sampling resolution and you'll see why if I zoom in so you see strobe C that's one is clocked but strobe B which I was looking at before is actually a signal that turns itself off uh, with no clock delay it's kind of an unclocked design and so it's super small it's less than a hundred nanosecond that's why I didn't catch it before all right, I instrumented the, the two counter, the, the storage for the initial count and the up clock counter. It was just too close, so I had to use this, I had to make this little adapters here so I could get all my probes because it's seven bits each. All right, I use all the probes of the pod. Let's see how it goes. All right, the SIM card is back in now with its two counters tied in uh, and uh, back on my uh, logic analyzer. And uh, I think I have found why it works sometimes and why it doesn't work other times. <laughs> it's quite interesting actually. Good one. The uh, first part is setting the green counter. It measures where the card is with respect to the magnetic uh, pickup, which is this little blip. And uh, let's zoom in on that. Uh, let's go this way. So actually, it, it resets at the blip. So this one it was very short, so it counted only up to. Uh, so after the reset, ignore the one before. It counted only up to three bits, and it's a zero zero one zero 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 zero. And every time afterwards, uh, when it's trying to read a column, is is going to match the count, so it matched the same offset. And here you can see, it's doing it. It's uh, counting until match zero zero one, and it does a match, and it's happy, and it's going to read the card and uh, the machine is going to work. Now uh, let's do a bad one which are more frequent. And run. Okay. So that's the more frequent bad one. And uh, well, let's, let's zoom again here. There you go. Okay, so now uh, it was a little longer, so it has to count actually on five bits. Okay, I, I have one bit that doesn't work. Uh, it's, it's the one number three here, but I don't know if, I, if it doesn't work at all or if I just uh, hooked it up wrong. But the first bit did work. And now I look at this guy. It can never match it. It counts one bit, two bit, three bit, four bits, and there's no fifth bit. And it turns out the three lower bits are on a different chip than the four, the three first four bits. Uh, so I think the second part of the counter, that chip there, is not working. And it explains why it sometimes rarely it works. It's when we're lucky enough for the uh, card uh, to be to have very little offset with the magnetic pickup and most of the time doesn't happen it involves more bits and this guy can never count there so upon further checking this gate which I thought was wrong checks out good the fault is actually not much further away from here it's uh, this fellow so those are the two counters that need to match and uh, this counters, those last three bits don't count. Uh, so that one's a bad chip. And on the card, it's D4. Uh, so A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four. It's that guy. 
So these are bad counter. We'll see if I can change the chip and if it works. <laughs> 